Just really want to say thank you to our crowd. I thought they were the difference down the stretch. Incredible environment um, for everybody to come out on a pretty sunny day with baseball and softball and to support us. Amazing crowd, and we need everybody back in here next Sunday at 2. Just um, proud of our kids for the resiliency and the grit that we showed down the stretch. Um, says a lot about them with eight minutes to go um, and the decision we made to um, – defend a little better and find some ways to be the aggressor. Um, I thought um, they're the, one of the, if not, I think they're the best defensive team in our league. Um, top two, it's rotated a little bit, but unbelievable effort, unbelievable game. Um, but the grit and the toughness by Alabama today was the difference down the stretch. Yeah, I think um, we really tried to speed Auburn up a little bit. We, re we weren't pressuring them as much as we should have in the first uh, the first half and the third quarter. We weren't denying them like we should have and making it hard. And so I think in the fourth quarter, we knew we had to get some sparks somewhere. And so I think that defense always travels. If you can get a couple stops defensively, off offense is going to start clicking. And that's what happened for us today is uh, just trusting each other. And defense is all, is all about um, – you know, trusting the person behind you. If you get beat, you're gonna you're gonna make sure that that you know that that person is gonna step up for you behind you, and vice versa. It's just gonna, it's just in a rotation every single time. And I think that we just had trust in that in the fourth quarter. Sir Ashley, uh, I, I have to ask you this because I'm friends with your dad. But w when you were growing up, what did he tell you about this rivalry? Yeah. Um, just that you don't let Auburn win. Uh, I mean, he. He loved playing against Auburn, just the competition. Um, it's, it's an in-state rivalry. And so at the end of the day, my dad um, never tried to, you know, force anything on me at all. He always just was supporting me and loving me through everything. Um, and so I don't think it was he, – he would never bring up his football unless we brought it up. And so I think that having a dad that played here at the university and having a legacy here um, – He's never, he's never made pressure or anything on me like that at all. And so I think I'm truly blessed because it's always just about, you know, I just want you to have fun. I want you to um, enjoy the game. And, it, and it's about you. It's never He never made it about himself. It was always about making my legacy um, when I got here. And so I think that's just something that I'm forever grateful for, for my dad. Uh, what does it mean to you uh, to get um, over 1,000 points in an environment like this and with, with your teammates and with your coaches yeah, um, it's emotional. Uh, <clears throat> to, um, I lost my grandmother three uh, three years ago, February sixth, um, and today is actually her birthday. And so, February is a really uh, hard month for me. Um, and I was seven points away from a thousand today, and so I think with the number seven, um, just faith, just trusting that God's always got me, just knowing that there's always a plan for everything. Um, his plan is always perfect. Uh, I got SEC Player of the Week the day that my nanny died. Those two days, February sixth and February eighteenth, um, that just you, you can't. That's not a coincidence. That's just about just trusting and. Uh, and, and that's all it is. It's not. It's not about how many points that I scored. It's more just about that I got to do it on her birthday today. And uh, and I'm just so so grateful. And I know that she's so proud of me and uh, had the best seat in the house. Um, and so I just think that just I'm always going to continue to trust trust my faith and trust God and know that whatever plan He has for me and has for this team is that's all that matters. Aaliyah, you guys were down with five minutes left, and you guys came back for a six-point win. What do you think that's saying about the team, the program, and future games to, for you guys and for anyone else that's watching? I think the LSU game was really our test and the reason that we were able to come back in this game because we really got tested at LSU, and we felt like we were separating um, and we talked about that as a team and in our leadership group, we talked about how we did separate in that LSU game. And I think today we had that same opportunity to just either come together or separate. And I think today we came together and we fought. 
This is for uh, any of you guys, but uh, how was the energy of the crowd, specifically in the fourth quarter, able to propel your win and your energy as well when you guys played? Because obviously they weren't as loud as they were in the second and third mm -hmm. quarter, but definitely in the fourth quarter you could hear it too. And it's like this, the arena was vibrating. How did that make you guys feel as a team? I think it uh, gave us a chance to – I think it motivated us, honestly. Like, we don't want to lose in front of a crowd like that. Like, they come here to support us, and we just want to put on a great show for them and get a win for them because they're the reason we do this. Um, they show up to watch us play. So I think just hearing the crowd uh, cheer for us just really motivated us. Thank you. Roll Tide. And congrats, I say. Okay. Coach, uh, fourth quarter, zero turnovers, but y'all forced eight turnovers. What was, just talk a little bit more about that fourth quarter and just what, what was the spark? What happened? Um, you know, I'm not sure. I called time out there with about eight minutes to go and just finally everything that we were doing and trying to talk to them about and what we were trying to be defensively, we just were trying to pull teeth. It felt like there forever. And um, for whatever reason there, um, I think we did a much better job of the sense of urgency, just trying to explain to them that something had to be different defensively and we had to create some offense from turnovers and we had to create some offense from getting stops and getting the transition game going. So um, I don't know. It just, uh, you know, sometimes it's about hitting the right buttons right and we have to have some self-awareness. I thought our kids individually just kind of took it to heart at that point. We had to do something different. Coach, uh, this was one you really needed for the NCAA tournament committee. Uh, and plus, it was your arch rival that had beaten you just a few weeks ago. So just talk about the importance of getting the win, not only against them, but the fact that the whole nation saw what you did today. Well, I just think it's the way we won. You know, it's um, important that, you know, you, you make plays down the stretch and you get stops and you're the tougher team. I think that the committee rewards toughness and grit. And I thought today, you know, those two were on display down the stretch. Was it a must win? You know, people can say what they want, but at the end of the day, our net's third. And um, to me, this game counts no more, no less than any other. You know, we can sit here and talk about, you know, we've dominated the series. We've gotten 11 out of 12. All that matters now is at midnight we reset, and then we try to go get South Carolina. So, you know, we have work left undone. Um, we're not satisfied with where we're at. Um, yeah, any win in February is going to help your tournament resume. So win or lose today, we're still in the same position, and we need to continue to win games. And if you win and take care of your business, everything's in place. So, But I do feel like we're in today. <laughs> I do feel like that probably put a little exclamation, but at the end of the day, we need to continue to take care of business and improve. Our goal, we're fighting for a four, top four tournament seating. Like we're fighting to have a double buy in the SEC, and that can legitimately happen. So we are excited about increasing our tournament seating with the NCAA tournament, but more importantly, our SEC seating. We all saw your little speech at the end when you <laughs> thanked the crowd for being there today. How do you think that crowds like this really affect team morale and help you guys with that win, especially with tight games like this? Well, we had recruits in the building for them to have the opportunity to see this environment. Um, but more importantly for our team, these kids work day in and day out. You know, this is our 20th win of the season. Um, what these kids have done this season, I feel like, have um, given them the right to have people to come out and support. And I just think it was unbelievable. They were the difference down the stretch. And I know it was maybe a little bit premature, but I walked over when we had a five-point lead and said, I'm going to need a mic. So um, thank God we won or my administration would have probably thought that I was counting my chickens before they hatch. But uh, that's where I'm from. That's what you don't do is count your chickens before they hatch. So I just uh, appreciate our crowd from the bottom of my heart because these kids every single day, you know, work to deserve people in the stands. And we've been in some hostile environments a couple weeks ago when we were at Auburn. Um, and for us to come home today and have this response by our fan base and for us to be able to uh, respond to them, we're so proud of our kids today and how they finished the game. Thank y'all for being here. Next Sunday, 2 o'clock, tell everybody you know we need some help Sunday. Thank you.